I wanted to record something just in the vein of the video that I recorded yesterday where I was looking at that article from EV.com talking about how 50%, something like 50% of men, according to a survey, don't approach women at all because they fear being uh, called creepy. And uh, you can go back and watch that video to see, you know, what all is, is uh, discussed in that, in that uh, article and what my, uh, what my take on the article is. I don't want to rehash too much of that. But I think relevant to, to this entire question, uh, relevant to this, this whole smorgasbord or constellation of issues, <laughs> interesting to say smorgasbord and, constel and constellation to use those two terms interchangeably, but I just did. So that's my virtuoso. I'm just such a virtuoso with words. Um, that's what you've come to know and love about me. Uh, so what I was remembering was actually when I, when I spoke to Catherine D uh, or default friend, uh, as is, as is her moniker, um, uh, this was a, a few months ago. Now, since that time we, uh, we, uh, clashed on some things or on one thing in particular, which I re recorded a video about. And, uh, I very much doubt that, uh, she would want to have, want to talk to me again. Uh, but, but I, I do have to give credit where it's due. Um, uh, she brought up for me in this, in this, uh, this interview, something that, uh, was, uh, was interesting and that, 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 uh, that it shone a light on relations between the sexes, uh, that, that, in a way that I hadn't really thought about before. And what she said was, uh, that she remembered a time when, uh, it was, uh, women who were, uh, who were average looking, you know, the plain Jane type, type of women who would, who would get left out, uh, you know, sort of a reverse of what we have today, where if you're an average man, uh, an average looking man, uh, you're just, as I've said, furniture to most women, including average women. You know, this is a result of many things. It's been heavily critiqued and discussed. Uh, but, but of course, social media is, plays a huge role in why, uh, this has happened. Whereas if you're a, a middle age or, or a middle, uh, of the middle of the road, uh, uh, woman, as far as looks goes, uh, you're, you're still going to get tons of attention. And she said, it, she had said, uh, that it wasn't always like that. And I said, well, what do you mean? It wasn't always like that. Um, and she said, uh, remember back in high school, and this is me paraphrasing. Uh, and she, she said, high school boys have the, the, the highest standards for women, uh, imaginable. Um, and I thought you, this, this was really, uh, a, a profound, uh, moment for me because it made me recollect, uh, high school, those high school days, which of course I've, I've, I've spent some time recollecting in the past. I've even written a couple of books recollecting, you know, it, which in effect are, uh, re recollecting, uh, uh, you know, uh, the unhappy high school experience that, that many of us had. Um, and, uh, I realized, yeah, that's, that's absolutely, she's absolutely right. When I was a high school boy, uh, 16, 17 years of age, something like that, the plain Janes, uh, didn't, didn't, uh, you know, capture my interest at all. Uh, it, it, it was all, uh, you know, the, um, uh, the eights and the nines, you know, the home com homecoming court, the cheerleaders, what have you. Uh, they were the ones who, who occupied my attention and the, the attention of others like me. And I was not a popular kid. Uh, you know, I was, a, uh, I was a geek or a nerd or whatever, uh, the label you want to put on it. Um, but it is true that maybe, uh, back then, uh, if I had asked one of the plain Janes, one of the ones who was, you know, not, not, not a girl who was, you know, uh, terribly ugly, but, 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 but 
someone not to put down the the uglies either i'm not i'm not meaning this in, in, in any uh, uh derogatory way towards anyone but but just saying you know if if you do value looks to a to a degree which we all do to a degree uh you're willing to make it and you're willing to make a compromise why not ask out the you know ask the four or five uh you know the plain Jane who you could rank, who you maybe would rank as a four or a five if you had to rank rank them as uh, uh, you know on a scale of one to ten as opposed to the the eights and nines on the cheerleading squad uh, you know uh, but you know the, the the fours and fives who were in uh, your who were in the beta club with you or, or something like that I don't know on the, on the yearbook staff or the newspaper staff uh, um, you know, why, uh, uh, why was that not an option at all for me? And, uh, you know, that, that was interesting. That was an interesting thing to point out. Um, now the different, the, there are a couple of differences, you know, she, she, she and I talked in that interview also about how it changed with social media. And also, I think it also just changes when you're, when you get older, um, you know, and I gave the example of, of if you're in a bar, uh, you know, if you're an average looking man in a bar, you're probably not going to get a lot of attention, if any attention. But if you're an average looking woman in a bar, you're going to get attention uh, from from men. It may not be might not be the, the kind of men that you want to get attention from, um, you know, but you will still get attention as opposed to if you're a man, you're probably just going to get ignored. Um but in a way, the shoe was on the other foot back in high school because I would I would hazard a guess that if I had said to to one of those fours or fives, uh, you know, I, I hate again I hate doing the ranking thing uh, and talking about people as if they're they're just uh, reducible to some number. But but I'm just doing it here to make a point. Um, so if I had asked out some plain Jane to the, to the homecoming dance or something, uh, she probably would have said yes, I, or, or likely would have said yes, but I, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, in asking her, I wouldn't have felt, uh, uh, awkward at all. Uh, I, I don't think, um, because I wouldn't have felt there was much to lose, unfortunately, because, uh, you know, like, like she was saying, like she pointed out to me at that time, uh, young men, high school boys, and, and, you know, even going into college, you tend to just be really riveted by the beauties. Uh, and those who aren't beauties or, or who, who, who are only, you know, marginally good looking or just, just, uh, you know, maybe around, around where you are, uh, on the looks scale, you don't really notice them. But the difference was that uh, I didn't, I wouldn't have had any shot, me or or any other guys like me. Uh, none of us would have had any shot uh, at the the pretty popular girls. Uh, they wouldn't have wanted to do anything with us or go anywhere with us. Um, whereas now, your uh, middle, your mid level, let's say, female the the uh the top level you know uh high value i love how they say it's they're called high they, they use the term high value uh instead of high status high status is the term that i'm sticking with uh those are basically the same this those basically mean the same thing high calling it high value is sort of sort of trying to put uh, make it sound less superficial um uh but I think it means the same. It's referring to the same kind of men. So those those kind of men, if you are, uh, you know, just a fair to midland plain Jane uh, uh, young woman today, they will give you the time of day. They will go out with you. They will sleep with you. Um, but they won't commit to you. They won't. They won't want to be with you in any. Uh, uh, committed capacity, uh, just like they, they won't, you know, want to be with, uh, any, uh, um, 
more attractive women that they also sleep with in any committed capacity. So, you know, if if I could have Catherine D. Default friend back for an interview, and I wish I could, but I just uh, I, I just think I, I kind of burned that bridge, uh, or that bridge got burned. Uh, uh, but uh, you know, it it was a necessity. I guess it had kind of had to happen. Um, it's unfortunate, but it it, it was what what uh, what kind of had to happen. Um, but um, I, I would I would enjoy having that conversation. Like your uh, your who who is worse off the 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 teenage boy who doesn't who doesn't notice the plain Jane girls, but who gets no, no attention, uh, from the, uh, attractive popular girls. And mostly it doesn't, in my case, you know, doesn't even try, uh, because he knows that he, that, that he, uh, would that be wasting his time and that it would end up, end with his humiliation. And those who, who would, you know, try, uh, who would try to make a play for that, that level of, uh, of a woman, that level of girl, you know, not to say that the, these girls are better than anybody, uh, or that anybody is better than anybody else. I want to make that clear too. It's just socially speaking, um, you know, they are more popular. So who, who's got it worse off? You know, the, the, the guy, the high school guy who, who ignores the plain Janes, but doesn't, but still is alone and, uh, doesn't, uh, you know, uh, you know, could have a girlfriend if he, if he note, if he noticed the plain Janes or could have at least a date to, to prom or something. Uh, but instead, uh, uh, uh just goes without, is he worse off or is the, uh, the, the, the same plain Jane years later in a social media world who is getting tons of attention, uh, from, from men who are, uh, above her in the social, again, not above her in any kind of, uh, important way, but who are above her as far as looks or, or status or what have you, uh, is she worse off because, she, you know, she, these, these kind of guys, uh, are willing to use her, uh, just for sex, but, but, uh, but then disc, are going to discard her after that. Um, you know, which of the, and, and in that case, and, and in the case of the plain Jane, she, she's of course, she's also analogous to the example that I gave of myself as the high school boy. Uh, the average looking uh, high school boy, uh, because to the plain Jane, who's getting all this attention from the, uh, you know, really, uh, high value men, she's not going to, uh, to her men who are around her same, uh, range of looks and so forth. Uh, they don't register at all. Just like they didn't, the plain Jane girls didn't register with me and others like me, uh, uh, in, at, when we were high school age and slightly older, you know, late adolescence, who really, who has it worse? Is it worse to be just, uh, ignored? Um, or is it worse to get, uh, to use that vulgar term pumped and dumped and, you know, at best to be a part of some guy's harem, um, you know, who ultimately, uh, is, is in, uh, uh, who ultimately feels worse, you know, who, who ultimately, uh, because men and women are different. Okay. Getting, uh, I, I no uh, high school boy would have minded getting pumped and dumped by, uh, you know, one of, by the, the prom queen, uh, you know, that, that would have been a boost to his ego, but for, um, uh, a, uh, a fair to Midland woman to have that happen to her, uh, m maybe it's a, a, somewhat of a boost to the ego, but it still leaves her feeling basically used and, and, uh, 
you know, the fact that he won't commit, the fact that he's not really, uh, uh, that, she, that he doesn't really see her as marriage material, that has to sting in a way that must be similar to how it must sting, you know, the, the teen, teenage boy uh, when he gets rejected by pretty popular girls. Um, so what are your thoughts on that? Let me know. Thanks for watching.